Let's check out a bicycle pump that fits in the palm of your hand. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we're going to be checking out a brand new uh, tiny bicycle pump that was sent to me by a company called Psych Plus. Full disclosure, they sent this to me for free, but they are not sponsoring the video. And so I'm going to be able to give my honest review based on what I think and how this thing works after running it through uh, some paces. Um, so that's what I'm going to do a little bit later on today. We're going to take it outside. I'm going to find the biggest bicycle that I have with the biggest tires, deflate it all the way down and see what this thing can do. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about what this pump has. Uh, it's really, really tiny, as you can see, fits in the palm of your hand. And right there is where you're going to be putting in the air. And it fits straighter and press the valves. Um, what happens is you take off this little piece right here and then there's like a rubber piece that is there. Can't really see it. Okay. That you flip upside down and then there's a, like a metal, a metal piece that sits in there. You put this in and this is for Schrader valves. So I have mostly bikes that are Schrader valves, but, um, if you take out that metal piece and you flip around the, the rubber gasket thing, you can use it on Presta valves as well. Um, it's, it's a rechargeable bike pump. It only takes about 20 minutes, uh, to fully charge. It comes in the box with a USB-C cable, uh, on one side and a regular USB on the other. And like I said, 20 minutes and this thing is fully charged, ready to go. Now, based on their documentation, this thing can fill up a 24 inch bicycle tire up to 80 pounds of pressure from, from basically zero. Right. And it can they're saying that it can do this twice. And of course, if you have a smaller tire or a tire that doesn't need to go up to 80 something PSI, then you're probably going to get uh, more tires that you can pump out of this. My bikes, I, I probably run them about 33 pounds of pressure and they're just like BMX tires. And so it's going to be interesting to see how much how much of those BMX tires I can fill up if I'm only going to hit it up to about 33 PSI. This thing is only 97 grams or 3.4 ounces. It does also have a silicone case uh, that it comes in. Um, the one thing I really wish that it had though that it does not have is some sort of a tire pressure gauge. There is no way for you to tell what PSI you're at just based on using this. So I don't know if you're gonna have to bring tire gauge with you. I don't know. I kind of wish that this had a screen somewhere that could could show you what the tire pressure is, but this one does not have that. Um, the power button is right up here. You press it once to turn it on and then two times once it's on to start the pressure. So basically you turn it on two times. <laughs> that's pretty fast. Two times to start the, the air and that's where you put it onto your uh, tire gauge or your tire valve, not gauge, valve. You're going to put this on your tire valve after starting this and then it's going to start pumping up your tire. Um, so it looks pretty cool. I got to say it's really small. It's really light. I can see packing this in a little bag that you ever that you're going to be taking with you. Um, and I think it's better than using, you know, those CO2, you know, cartridges that are probably a little bit longer than this and they also get cold. This thing does not do that. It does get warm when you use it and that's why I think they gave you uh, the silicone uh, wrapping on this. But it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna go outside and see what it does. Okay, so I pulled out the Monster Quad. It has 29 inch 2.5 tires. Uh, these are Maxxis grifters. These are the biggest tires that I have on the biggest bike that I have. Um, I powered this up or got this charged to its max capacity. I aired the tire down as much as I could. And I don't know if you can kind of see how flat it is uh, on the ground. And we are now going to see how long it takes to pump this up. Okay. So one press to turn it on, two presses to start it. Of 
course, I don't have my tire gauge. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, this one only got it to about 16, at least on this tire gauge. I don't know how accurate this thing is, but. Maybe more like 15. All right, let's keep going. All right, this one is at 24. I think 24 is pretty acceptable. Like that thing's pretty solid. So that's one tire. Now, let's see. Just so you guys know that I'm doing this on two different tires. Let's go ahead and do this on the second tire. All right, that's pretty flat. You can kind of see how low that is down there. Okay, let's see tire number two. See, that is, that's the only other problem that I see with this uh, device is the power button is here and then when you're trying to push up, you accidentally press that by mistake. So I don't know if that can be moved someplace else. I think that would make it a little bit better. This one is still soft, so. See where we're at. We're at about 20, a little bit over 22. Let's keep going just a little bit to match the back. Is it gonna die? Oh, it just died. <laughs> yeah, it's showing me red. It just died, but. Yeah, we're at 24. So it was able to pump up two of the 29 inch tires, 2.5 inch tires up to 24 pounds. I wasn't able to get it up to about 30 or 32 that I normally put these at, but it does what it says it's supposed to do. It pumps up two tires and these are bigger tires, 29 inch tires. So I think if you are out on a ride and you need something in a pinch, this works. Hands down, it works. A little slow, but it does work. So what's my honest review? It does what it says it's gonna do. It's small, it's lightweight, it's compact, you can recharge it. I think it fits the need for anybody who is looking for something that just needs to be, you know, to have a safeguard, to have in their bag, that they can pull it out at any time they need to on a, on a ride as an emergency. It, it, it works as it says it should, and it can shoot air into a Presta or Schrader valve, um, 20 minutes to recharge. I think it works. I really think it works. Um, I did have some trouble just kind of holding it in the spot, uh, in the, you know, in the valve for as long as I needed to, cause I was kind of worried about the air leaking out and stuff. So that was a little hard and that kind of, you know, you have to hold it for a while. I don't know if it quite matched as many seconds as it says it can pump a tire on the website. It felt like it was, longer i'm gonna to have to take a look at the video and kind of see like how long exactly it took to to pump up that tire but it felt like it was a little bit longer and maybe it was just because i was just holding it but it works and if you're looking for something that can you know save you on a ride go check out their website i have a link in the description below I, you can use 
the link to get, I think it's like 5% off. It's not a lot, but it's something. And uh, I do get something in return as an affiliate. So uh, just being totally upfront with that, you can use the link or not. It's totally up to you. You can just go on the website on your own. If you don't want to give me that, that uh, affiliate link, um, whatever, whatever you want to do, I'm totally fine with that. Um, and again, this is just my review. They did not sponsor this. They did, they did not pay for my review. They just sent me this so I could test it out. And I think it works and it's going to stay in my bag and it's going to be something that I take on all of my rides. All right. Hey, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, hey, take care of one another. Be safe. Aloha.